A lightweight expandable baton may be a great intermediate force level defensive tool for you to have in a public environment if it's legal or to have staged in your workplace or around your home for a personal defense situation. Now obviously this is a very compact and trust me it's a very lightweight version of an expandable baton. Of course you might have seen police officers with much larger and even heavier expandable batons or you might think of the old billy club or nightstick type defensive tool or an escrima stick something like that if you're used to a martial arts setting. And that's really what this is. It's a lighter weight obviously not as strong not as heavy not as potent version of that tool but it's one that can be carried with you virtually anywhere. You can hook it on a pocket, you can put it on a cargo pocket, you can put it in your back pocket, you could even carry it in center line somewhere inside of your waistline and it would be completely concealed under an untucked shirt or you could just carry it around like this with just a little bit of your shirt overlapping it and it probably wouldn't even get noticed. And of course center line means it can be reached by either hand. Now most people are going to use a defensive baton or any type of defensive stick in their strong hand. You're going to be more coordinated, obviously you'll have more strength for applied force as well. Now this, as I said, is an intermediate level force tool. It's obviously not a firearm, although certainly strikes to the head or to the throat area could be lethal with a heavy baton or with a hard enough strike, so you want to keep that in mind. Depending on how you use this tool, it could create a death situation. It could be considered a use of lethal force. And you always want to make sure that you're justified in whatever level of force you need to use. Now, I've been trained as an expandable baton instructor. Of course, I've received a lot of training as a student with an expandable baton and other types of sticks. And we are often taught to strike areas that are not going to be lethal. Things like the major muscle groups up the top of the arm, hands if someone's reaching out towards you, maybe leg strikes to disable or to cause enough discomfort or pain to keep someone from being interested in hurting you. But we want to try to avoid areas like the head and the throat or the groin where permanent damage can be caused, and including up to and including death. If you think about how to use an expandable baton, one of the things you're going to have to be aware of is you're going to need some space. You're going to want to have a very quick, a very flagrant action as you deploy this baton to get it to expand. Now, if it's short like this, I can still use it to jab. I could use it as a hammer fist kind of extender to hit into someone to cause more pain. I could use it as a coup baton on pressure points. But ultimately, if I want the advantage that I get from the leverage of a true baton and the extended reach of a true baton, then when I pull it, let's say, out of my back pocket, I want to understand how to deploy it quickly with a flip of the wrist so that it comes open and then I can stage it here next to my head so that I can strike either quick short blows or I can expand out and get longer strikes with more power as I come in towards the bad guy. Of course, I can strike across this way. I can bring it back here and I can come back across the front and strike. I could also use this baton to block. I could use it to block a strike. I could use it to defend myself as well. I could reverse it down along my forearm and use it to accentuate any kind of a strike with my forearm or again, use this as a blocking surface if someone were trying to hurt me. So the expandable baton, especially a lightweight one that you can carry everywhere, should be considered as an intermediate level force option when and where legal. You may also consider this as an alternative force to a firearm. So in other words, if you carry a firearm, many instructors advocate that you also carry some other tool that you might be able to bring out to deal with a situation that doesn't warrant escalating immediately to something that is only a lethal force option like a firearm. This may give you an option against a threat that you couldn't handle without anything, an empty hands skill set maybe that you don't have. You may be able to bring this into play to extend your strength and extend your reach and defend yourself in a way that doesn't require you to go to a firearm, whereas if you didn't have this option and unarmed wasn't going to work for you, you might need to immediately go to a gun. So consider the lightweight expandable baton as a reasonable defensive tool if it's appropriate for your body type, your size, your weight, and you're willing to put the time, effort, and energy in to learn how to use a stick effectively and efficiently in a worst case scenario.